Hi everyone. We just thought we'd go live. Hi. We've got a um, garden sale trail and we thought, because we didn't take any footage of the trail like we did in the last one, we thought we might as well just broadcast the whole live. Um, and if anyone wanted to pop in and say hello, they could. We're not expecting anyone to come in because it's a bit of a funny time of day. Um, but yeah, as I said, we thought we'd uh, we'd just do it live. And there's no need for editing or anything like that. Nope. Um, so we're just going to make sure that we are live. And yeah, if are. you are listening, just let us know if you're listening live. Just let us know if you can hear us okay. So where did we go? We went uh, to a local village, like literally five minutes away. Um, it was uh, publicised on Facebook. They had their own Facebook group um, for it, like at an event. So I had it on the calendar for quite a while, and it was I was sort of nervous about it because it was on um, uh, the final Euro finals day. But I then found out football was in the evening, so this was ten till two, and there were fifty stalls. And they had a map on Facebook where you could pick up a map from the local shop. Um, because it was such a big village, we decided to drive round. So we, just the two of us, we didn't take the dogs this time. And it was I'm glad we drove round because we wouldn't have got them all done because it's a massive village really, isn't it? Yeah. And there's like sort of clusters of houses, um, different parts. So we'd like drive to a cluster, visit a few. A couple we just drove past and thought, mm, not for us. Um yeah, it was it was good, and we bought enough stuff that there's no way we could have walked around the village carrying it all anyway, could we? Even without the dogs. No, like we we told a lot of people that we'd driven around, and they kind of looked at us, but we thought, yeah, there's no way um, that we could we could get it get around it all. No, because we had breakables as well. Uh, we had some bulky bits and bolts. We had some heavy stuff, so it just wouldn't have been a pleasant experience. Yeah, and we topped it all off by going to the pub afterwards for scampi and chips. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, it's easy to do. A, we thought we'd do a live. It just gets it done. We haven't got any footage to add in as well, as we, as we've said. We've got no editing to do. Um, so we just thought we'd rattle through what we got and how much we paid and all the usual sort of stuff. Um, if you're watching this back and you want to comment and like the video, please do that. That really helps us out. Yeah, got any questions about anything we've picked up or what garage sale trails like? Just yeah, fire them over. What should I start with? Ooh, what do you want to start with? Do you want to get this out of the way? Yeah, it's just going to be in the way. Yeah. I'll hold it and you can... Okay. Uh, so, actually, the house we got this from wasn't on the map. We just happened to come across this house, didn't we, at T-Junction. Um, so, this is all Hornsey, which is a brand of pottery. Um, well, we, we've picked ceramics. it up. Ceramics. And, well, yeah. We've picked it up loads of times before. I've said a million times in videos that this is the design that we had at home when I was growing up. Um, it's called Saffron. So, we've got cups. We've got... Saucer. Saucer's one with a big chip in it. That somewhere. one's got a chip in it, yeah. Um, and in addition, we've got a jug. And this isn't... Um, it's got a stick on the bottom. This isn't saffron. It's Bronte. Uh, we have sold Bronte stuff before. Um, so, yeah, when I saw these, I thought straight away, we'll definitely pick them up. Um, we paid £5. Yeah, £5 for all. So we've got, like, yeah. five saucers. So we'll do five cups and saucers, and then that'll leave four cups six cups which we just sell individually or as a bundle and the jug so yeah sort of pretty good pick up for five pounds yeah yeah um, oh, um, i made um a note on my phone like on when we got back that day of what we paid for things so i've got a list because some things were actually priced um but you have to kind of when you because it's cash um we had to sort of make a note of what we paid, so yeah. I've got my list here. So. Yeah, should we get these out of the way as well? Because these are like massive as well. Yeah, it's from the same house. Oh, yeah. So these are Gadsby, which is the brand, sort of gift basket. So people would fill these with like sort of hampery stuff at Christmas or birthdays or baby showers. Because they're red, it's more Christmas. Wow. Um, they're all brand new, they've got their tags on, but we're familiar with Gadsby because we have bought from them before and in Simon's previous job um you used them a lot didn't you I worked there as well for a bit 
so I know. Yeah. Um, but those particular baskets aren't available on eBay or Amazon. You can get them direct from Gatsby, but I think you have to buy, uh, buy quite a few. So I will list those just like a job lot. Um, I think it's 12. Yeah. Will you? you do a job lot, will you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for about maybe 40 quid. Yeah. Um, they cost... Uh, 12, 12 pounds. pounds. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I won't go through all your stuff so far. No, I, I, I've got stuff as well. This is the thing. Because <laughs> I lost my mojo, if you remember, if you've seen before. And um, uh, I just really enjoyed the garage sale trail. We sort of... We were talking about it on the way, and um, you weren't sort of that excited about it. And it's that sort of because it's unexpected, isn't it? You don't know what you're going to find if it's all just going to be rubbish. Um, and we don't do them often, um, yeah. but we actually both really enjoyed it, and we were surprised at what, like, how much we picked up. Yeah, uh, it was a sort of it was a long old slog, wasn't it? Yeah, and it was um, hot. And it was hot. We didn't take the dogs this time, which we couldn't have taken them because we were just in and out of the car all the time. Uh, we did think we'd sort of see some familiar faces reselling wise, but we didn't. No, we didn't. Um, but we did see some resellers um, who we didn't know. Um, but they weren't picking up that much, I wouldn't say. No. Uh, and we were like thinking, oh, right, so they've gone out. We'd, we'd turn up somewhere, they'd be coming off the drive and then go left. So we'd go right <laughs> first and try and. Because we'd know, like, if you're in a close, you're going around the whole close. So we'd go the other way to try and kind of get out in front of them in the lead. Um, I picked up a few DVDs. I knew, didn't I pick that one up? We picked up a few DVDs. So, so to be so precise. Competitive, actually. Yeah, true. Thanks to everyone that's watching. Hello. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're watching and you'd like to say hello. Please do. Please do. We're just doing this because we haven't got any footage of the of the sale trail and doing it live without have to edit it so we can just record it and then send it live um i don't know how much this one uh, oh, is going for i wrote it down yeah i know but how much oh it's how it's going for. for well we paid 50p yeah so it's pretty decent and we're going to sell that on amazon for around 11 pound 37 brand new and sealed yeah and then mrs brown's boys i scanned one of these in front of the stall holder but i didn't want to do the next one now, this is 850 um, brand new and sealed, but there's no FBA. Whoa. Oh, God. So um, we'll sell that for a 20. More. Yeah, I reckon at least 20. That was four pounds. Uh, I don't think no, it was two pounds. Don't think we get 20 for it. Don't we sold Mrs. Brown's boys recently, though. Yeah. And then this one we got, which is um, showing a new, new price of 12.89. That was two pounds as well. Yeah. Um, oh, um, just change that. So say hello if you are watching. Um, what do you want to show next? Uh, just a couple of games or jigsaws or whatever. Uh, please, when I saw this one, because it's only 50p, it's Ravensburg 1000 piece Disney. Um, I didn't check them because if I buy a thousand piece Ravensburger for 50p, I'm going to be able to sell it if, as long as it's complete uh, for decent money. And also, we sell them if they're not complete, but obviously, we declare how many pieces are missing. Um, but you, and you can't command as much as such a high price, but they yeah. do still sell. Let's dig out. So, what's this one saying? 15.97. This one, well, well, that one's really old, it's a jumbo puzzle, and it's um. Hold it up straight. I I saw, yeah. oh, I don't know it's Jan Van Hasteren, who's the artist. Jan Van, thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, this one we've got for, what did we say? It's 50p as well. 50p, and uh, it sells for 17.57. And I'm going to do all the jigsaws first, because then we'll sort of talk about the jigsaws, because we've had quite a result. Yeah, we've got jigsaw news. Yeah. Uh, that one. Uh, is, is that the this is brand new and sealed? Not, oh, it's not, got a price on it, three pounds. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure it's getting. Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, and that one is selling for 16 pounds and five. And then the last, no, not nearly the last one. Uh, we got this one for two pounds, two pounds, it's selling really low at the moment. Used. We've sold that brand new because that's from 2019. I'm mm. sure we bought that. 11.15, that one. 
and then I sort of spotted this. I kind of made Faye get this one because she sort of did, didn't really want it, and I didn't really like it either. But it's <laughs> just because it was Cadbury's. That's all. I love Cadbury's. Faye's a Cadbury's girl. Um, we paid that one was fifty p as well. Fifty p. It's out of stock, so it's a pretty cool puzzle for um, ugh, go that way. We're back to front for a Cadbury fan. It's pretty um, nostalgic, I suppose. Yeah, chocolate. Gotta love chocolate. Um, so, well, there was that one as well. Oh, yeah. I'll share that one as well. Um, so, Raven's Blue, a 3D puzzle, pretty standard. See these all over the place. But the reason we got this is because they told us it was brand new, which doesn't mean, you know, what that means to a car boot sale person. It just means they've not necessarily used it or whatever. But it's still sealed inside. So, the box is open fully sealed inside um, so we don't need to check that and that was three pounds and we will sell it for uh 14.99 but let's get those out of the way what we did if you follow us on instagram and i think Faye, well fame also mentioned it on youtube oh hi liam how are you thanks for saying hello um we basically put a message out on our village Facebook group, which has got just a couple of hundred people in our village, asking if anyone wanted to help us out, that we had loads of jigsaw puzzles that needed counting. Um, and we are basically paying people £10 for to count three jigsaws. So I put that message out and there was we just got loads of responses so i went through i went and got all the ravensburg a thousand gibsons all the rest of it we can sell gibsons now again that little problem if you experienced it yourself with amazon that's gone away um and yeah so the pile went down we had kids coming around now we know obviously a few people messaged us and said oh you can't just count them because they're not all the same numbers but we know that so we know like so Ravensburg, a thousand and eight, and all that. So all we were interested in was getting them to count them. Little sheet in the box which declared how many pieces were in there, and then we told them there won't be a thousand, or there'll rarely be a thousand. So they weren't like looking for the target. Uh, and then we were able to sort of gather them all in and kind of say, you know, look at them and say, right, all these Gibsons at this dimension ratio have come in at thousand and ten. You know, that's 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 the count. That's what it would be. Um, so yeah, we've got loads and loads done. I've already sent loads off to Amazon. Yeah. Uh, I've got only like a dozen left now to do. So like a few of the kids around here are getting rich. Yeah, well, one little boy's doing so well. He, he's he's so only like good. eight or nine, and he was like, he did three in an hour and a half from from leaving here to getting back. You know, bearing in mind I've given him a sheet to, for his mum to read to him, to sort of tell him what what we wanted, um, bag them up write the little sheet out, put it back inside. Yeah, and he was here and back in an hour and a half for his first tenor. And then he came back, and at the same time, he picked three more up. And then after school, his sister came, and she took three. Yeah. And then they were back later that evening with them finished. So he's done 30 quid in a day. Yeah, and then there was more more kids turning up. Uh, it was amazing. Uh, what's the end saying? Just been buying puzzles today. Bought quite a few for 50p each. Nice. Um, Two puzzles with four times five five hundred ones for one pound fifty each. Yeah, that's so good. <coughs> we were we were um, we went to our neighbours for a barbecue last night, and we were sort of explaining because you know if you're talking to non resellers about reselling, it's all a bit of a mystery, isn't it? So we were sort of explaining about how generally, if you're an Amazon seller when you start, you you tend to sell books to start with, and then you learn and expand your categories from there. And, and with eBay, you tend to be a close like most ebay sellers that we come across are clothing mm. sellers and then you might they might expand from there um but jigsaws is one that anyone can get into not all the brands obviously mm. on like amazon you'd be gated to start with but it only takes time um but jigsaws is one where you can get them all over the place really cheap yeah. and sell some of them for really good money i mean obviously if you're just picking up ones if you're cherry picking then it's all really good money really good money um We've also, got five, yeah. I was gonna say, um, the market, like the jigsaw market, is better in the winter, isn't it? 
yeah it definitely yeah, yeah. increases it's like it's a, a christmas gifts or just people that don't want to go out in bad weather they just want something to do that might usually be gardening and in the summer the, the great thing about it is that some of them are counting and some of them are actually doing them oh well, and we well, get people are helping us yeah mm. and we get pictures of like if they're completing them they take pictures of the completed jigsaw which we can use in the listing or like in the condition note and if they're counting them they're taking pictures of the piles just as a sort of extra mm. kind of um, safety measure for us and um what was I going to say? What, what's what's been sort of good about it was that we were picking up all these jigsaws and like not really having a plan, and just the pile was just growing in the spare room. But now we've got this like little like stable of people that we can now just message on on Facebook Messenger. Do you want any more? Yeah, and they and they come around and take them away. Yeah. So as long as we're buying them cheap enough and selling them for a decent enough price as long as we're being kind of picky about the ones that we're getting so i'm really now you know all i want to pick up is out of stock ravens burgers ravens burgers that you can't get on amazon um that are, that are shown as out of stock with sales history and reviews that's what i want to get because if you can pick those up for two or three pounds and then pay someone three pound 33 to count it you know so your cost is around sort of five or six pounds you can sell them for 40 quid and that's decent money for doing very very little like you're mm. not counting you subcontracting out the, the most of the work yeah we just don't have time to count them really and we don't know enough jigsaw puzzle fans to do them for us i mean leanne's got five people making puzzles up for free for her we just don't know people that like puzzles i like puzzles but i just don't have time <laughs> yeah yeah I, I think a few of them might have done it without the financial reward certainly last march yeah we put um we had loads and loads of books we had a pallet of books delivered and the ones that we were, weren't selling online, we just put out on tables out the front here, and it was like a little like community get together. People were just coming past all day long last March 2020, when everyone was stuck indoors, or you know, Eight central four. trips only. Yeah. So people were making their essential trips to our book to our bookstore, which we were giving away for free on their one hour of exercise a day. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, it's been really, really I sort of. It's been great so leanne well done for already being way ahead of the game on that one because yeah. um i think a lot of people have sort of seen we had a lot of comments um particularly on instagram people sort of seeing what we were up to and saying that's brilliant i've never thought of that and we are I, it just came to me mm. obviously so leanne well done yeah obviously um a very adaptable reseller <laughs> um let's show some more yeah Games. so this one was four pounds kudo um doctor here this one i can't i remember scanning this on the stool it's either unavailable um yeah it's unavailable um it's sorry that's right in front of you it's um forty-four thousand ranking toys and got thousands of five star reviews so mm. uh, it's all unchecked but yeah. um i've just had um just just had our um, neighbour sending me pictures of um, the, the jigsaws that she's done, so she's going to oh, bring cool. them around. <laughs> nice. And, uh, and yeah, covered, so that's nice. She's literally, I can see her garden from here. <laughs> um, right. Oh, this is um, this is one of the first stalls we went to, wasn't it? Yeah. This one up. This was. I've got this written down. This was four pounds. I had to. Yeah. Um, like shield the stall. Oh, sorry, the things in my way. Let's just take that away. Um, I had to shield the stall uh, because a couple of people turned up and um, were pushing. Were pushing around. So I sort of like made myself as wide as possible uh, and just started grabbing stuff. We only actually ended up walking away with two things, and I picked up a mm -hmm. like Pirates of the Caribbean pirate ship. Picked, it, picked up the box and everything just fell out the bottom of it. Um, so I caused a kerfuffle as well. Um, oh, that's the wrong mouse. So this one um, was, what did I say? Four pound. Four pound, yeah. And it sells on Amazon used for 26.99 is the cheapest. Um, and new, it's 75 quid. So Let's uh, hope it's complete. Yeah, it's got loads of reviews. Half decent rank. Most Disney stuff's pretty good. Little Mickey Mover. Is that his? That's the wedges. Oh, that is the wedges. Yeah. That's cool. I've sold this before, Snow White. 
I don't, not, not with, no, not with these movers. Who's that? He's not from. I don't think he's supposed to be in there. Snow White. Oh, oh Bambi. Have we got. Oh, look, there. they're still sealed. Yeah. 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 Who's that there? Is that Snow White? Yeah. So, are we missing one or two then, do you reckon? Because we've only got one. Do you reckon that's why he's here? Because he's like been substituted for someone. Maybe. Someone got injured. Whoa. Yeah, I think Might so. Might be under here. Lift the lid up. Yeah. Someone got injured. No. Oh. So I think we're probably missing a mover, maybe. At least one, anyway. No, look. So it should be... Buzz Lightyear. Yeah. Cinderella. Doc from <coughs> Seven Dwarves. Yeah. And Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Shame. So maybe we can get those on... Um, Email. eBay or the last um trip of Subi Disney type thing, I think it was. Um Vinegar Jar messaged me and said he thought he might have it, and I never did hear back from you, Peter. So uh let me know. I don't think I did anyway, maybe I did. Um uh I keep seeing oh. <laughs> I keep seeing new sealed ashes DVDs and think of you every time I see them, which which is the title you sell best on Amazon and price you pay as cost at cost. I was happy to get a bundle for you as Ooh. I don't do Amazon. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks very much. We generally sort of wouldn't pay more than three pounds for it. And it's the Ashes 2005 with. Um, the guy's got a like, cool, real close up of his, his head name? holding the thing. Yeah. I'll just it's like it green there. and white, isn't it? Yeah. I've forgotten his name now. Shocking, really. Don't I'm you've not, ever known his name. Thing is, I'm not a cricket fan, so I can't remember um, who it is. Or oh, I don't know who it is. Uh, him. So it's that one. Blue Hat. Greatest Series 2005. And sometimes they have um, like the normal EAN barcode, and sometimes they've got the Marks and Spencers barcodes. It doesn't matter. Um, either of those. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you. And um, we'll even um, we'll buy you a drink. <clears throat> Don't know where you live, but we'll find you, Leanne. <laughs> and we're always traveling out taking about. little road trips and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're not in. No, you're not in Carlisle. No, that's, no. Cool. Right. Anyway, yes. So, uh, what else? Should I, what should I show next? Uh, what about these? Oh yeah. These are quite fun. So. I'll pick it up and I'll, um, Loads of Clinique makeup. Yeah. All brand new. <laughs> so we've got lip glosses, we've got lipsticks. See? Brand new. We've got there must be like there must be a hundred things there looking at it. Yeah. Um uh, this eyeshadow. Yeah. Oh, a bit. That's been used, isn't it? A pencil should I throw that? You'll just put it to one side. Yeah. Um, it's like chubby sticks, more lipsticks, um, all from a lady that buys their skincare but doesn't use their makeup and just, and just ends up with loads of makeup. So, um, yeah, it was just like... That's 30 things just there. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so I said to her, how much do you want for it all? And we said 25 quid. So I think it was 25 she said 25 you counted at 20 but she wasn't having it so yeah. you went for 25. did i write it down we did talk about it so oh yeah makeup 25. yeah um, that's never been used does it no stuff? that's a chubby stick how oh, is it yeah Wouldn't have known. You do now what's this clinique happy heart oh i guess they're little fragrances little glitter powders all sorts of things um pencils so yeah, 25 quid and there's so much here. Um, if you follow Thrift to Travel. Oh, I'll just say goodbye to Leanne if she's not already gone. Thanks, Leanne. Um, Winchester, so that's near Kes. Is that right? No, it's not. Oh, it's Hampshire. Late. Oh no. Anyway, it's, it's thanks near, for it's watching. Near Reading, isn't Catch it? up later. No. Oh, yeah. Um, we've been to Winchester. We know mm. exactly where it is. Um, yeah, so if you follow Thrift to Travel on um Instagram, she's in America, but she buys so much makeup and sells it and does really, really well. And who's that other one you follow um, on YouTube, that American girl that's just a woman that just
just has got such oh uh Lin lindy yeah um lindy something like that <laughs> it's lindy but i can't think oh. of her surname her she always buys hi peter we were just talking about you she buys loads of makeup doesn't she so oh i might keep that one um yeah so this is all 25 quid so i'm so pleased with this uh so i will list this um take a while but i mean i don't really like makeup that much but i do love a lipstick oh. yeah should put it back yeah i'm just sticking it all the colors i know but you can you need to <laughs> i need to engage with my audience yeah okay you can look at this later so would you pick this up do you pick up um makeup so what what did you say you're going to do with it sorry i either wasn't listening or you didn't say i haven't it. said yet okay um i haven't decided you, you talk okay uh so yeah that was off one lady along with um these right so i'm just going to go back so i think what we sort of said was you'd make up little bundles maybe i don't know yet uh, i've got to look at like if what things sell for what like i mean if one lipstick's 20 quid and someone only wants one lipstick then yeah. I'll, that's what i'll do but right. um yeah so don't pretend you know anything about makeup and no, makeup. i'm not pretending i just thought because we talked about it i thought you might like to share um no <laughs> no i don't want to share okay no i don't know is the answer I need basically they spent 25 quid on a bunch of makeup which doesn't know what she's gonna do <laughs> oh, you are, i'm gonna sell it but yeah i also picked up these two le Creuse salt and pepper pop um from the same lady that i got the makeup from and these were three yeah three pounds um purple little jug ones so they're cute uh again don't know what i'm going to sell those for yet the cruise does quite well um oh look vinegar jar i have the trip disney that's what we were just talking about um because i got we got the we were just showing this a second ago upside down but you get the idea um Oh, yeah. and um yeah i was just saying that um we're missing there was there, there's some missing bits from there but i was just saying i'm sure you said you might have a bit for another bit because it's still on my desk and i hate having things just sitting on my desk waiting for stuff oh thanks peter he's gonna do it tonight that's yeah. very good of you that, oh, thank you you know how busy you are as well with all your youtube videos so. i'm currently wearing my vans by the way they're oh, on yeah. my feet now and they are lush thank you yeah, I bought some fans off the vinegar jar. He was going to list them on eBay, but I just happened to walk in the room. <laughs> yeah, you were walking past the door. Yeah, right? and I was like, "What are those shoes?" When Simon was watching your video, I was like, "I want them," and he's like, "Really?" I was like, "Yes, I want them, please." And uh, yeah, the rest is history. They're now on my feet. Pretty much been wearing them ever since. Yeah, thank um, you. Uh, shall oh, yeah. I do a few bits? Or no, no I'll just do these. Uh, so this little guy. This is sorry. This is a um, for anyone that's just joined and. And you as well, Peter, since though like you made yourself known. Uh, this is a garden sale trail. We're doing it live because we haven't got any footage from the trail, so we don't need to, anything to edit. Um, and I also need to start the process and the stock, so we just thought, let's just get it done and upload it. Yeah, cool. So here we are. So here we are with this little paperweight. Um, it's sort of mouse looking, but could be a rabbit. And it's Langham glass, made in England. Uh, very cute. And he was 20p it's very unusual to pay 20p for a paperweight let alone one that's got an actual maker's sticker on it that's like made in england um and he's got no chips or cracks or anything so yeah really pleased with him there's a lady on facebook on one of the groups this morning who said that she's trying to clear some stuff up for a friend she's got like six bags of linen or something she said but one box of art glass so i said can you message me like with any more info i'm interested i was the first person to comment i'm interested can you message me with any further info or pictures and she said she would do it tonight oh so you've got peter messaging you tonight and the other girls, <laughs> yeah. you? and jigsaw puzzle people neighbors oh, yeah. as well so i'm making yeah. tea then <laughs> <laughs> this uh, we got from the little shop on no, that really. <laughs> uh we'll do these get these out of the way shall we yeah before i knock them over uh, this we purchased early on. Um, it's reminded me of a vase that my mum had growing up. She's probably still got it, but it was brown, so brown and speckly. It was horrible. She probably, I think she has still got it. Um, and I saw this and thought, oh, 
and it's made in West Germany. I just had a gut feeling when I saw it that it would be made in West Germany, and Simon picked it up and checked, and lo and behold, it is. It was. It's West German. So pre-1989, 88. Yeah. Um, that was a pound. Vintage vase, yeah. Well, I mean, when you buy something like that, what, what you, you know, your eyes are lighting up, what, you, what, you, what are they lighting up with? Um, what, what are you thinking? Like? 20 pound minimum yeah. for, for a pound, but maybe 30 or 40. I don't know. I'll do, yeah. I'll, I'll use Google Lens on my phone, take a picture of it to see if there's anything identical for sale or sold uh, and do my research because uh, it could be a particular design design that's really popular. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you said to me the other day you weren't, you didn't want to pick up any breakables that where you that you couldn't sell for less than twenty. I yeah, um, there's always going to be. Uh, yeah, maybe that paperweight might be less than twenty, yeah. but it cost me twenty p. Yeah, yeah, it's like really light crazing. Probably can't see, but it's not a problem. Nice, yes. really nice. I mean, that would look really nice in our fireplace. Yeah. It would. <laughs> Along with everything, yeah, because it, it, it sort of ring. it matches the jug you got me for my birthday. Yeah, um, and total result next with these two items, <laughs> especially because <laughs> they're the same. They're like a pair, which is really unusual. So glass clowns, Murano glass clowns, and these ones are from the 1970s because she told us the lady that had them, they were her mum's or her mother-in-law's, and yeah, from the 1970s. Um, if you watch our videos regularly, you'll see that I do pick these up and that we've sold out of all our clowns literally in the last week or so. And um, I'm expecting a callback still from a local charity shop that have got a load in their basement. Um, but they've told me not to expect a call back until September. And I've been waiting five weeks. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, these cost five pounds. Couldn't believe so it. So £2.50 she, each. She said, Faye said, how much? And she said, five pounds. And Faye said, like, five pounds each. And she said, no, five pounds for the pair. Okay. That's incredible. Yeah. I would have paid five pounds each. I mean, there's, that's, that's 50 quid there, isn't it? I mean... Just standard, it would be 50 quid, but obviously if they're a bit older and you can kind of substantiate some of that a little bit more. Mm, then, I think... I mean, the dust alone tells its own story, doesn't it? <laughs> I think I'll list them as a pair as well because I think they, like, I don't know, sort of... Um, they came as a pair. Yeah, almost like bookends. Like Snoopy and Luna. Yeah. Um, they need a clean. Um, and if you pick these up, you might find, like, the fingers or the hair can be a bit sharp because they're like strands. Um, so be careful because that can make them quite delicate and also sometimes they hold something and we've had one before where whatever it was holding is broken and gone and um, th these two aren't holding anything but we've got one or sold one recently that's holding a banjo um i've had another one that was holding something else can't remember what um but they are so i mean it's an acquired taste i know people don't like clowns but they're just so the the talent that's going into making them, I really do appreciate. They're funny, aren't they? Because aesthetically, they're not perfect, are they? By no. any means. If you look closely, they're not. You know, but they just oh, come on. They've got such a sort of following. But ultimately, like... They're pretty gross. Yeah. I think if I tried to make a clown out of glass or out of plasticine, that's probably about what I'd produce. No, and we'd laugh. No, but do you know what I mean? Like, we'd sort of laugh at it because, it's you know, they're just not... They're just a bit. If you're, you know. if you are into glass making or interested in learning about glass making, go on Netflix and watch Blown Away. Blown Away. Yeah. It's a kind of like a Bake Off style format, but for glass blowing and just watching them producing some of these items that they have to do, the intricacies and the conditions they have to work in. It's mm. so interesting, really interesting. Yeah. Um, so All I right. recommend that. Let's show something else. Um, how much did we pay for Lego, Lego Minor Taurus? Four. Four pounds. Where's your other mouse, please? Yeah. Thanks. Um, oh, yeah. Just Talk about it. Um, He's just messaged us. Thank you, Peter. My feet are stunning. <laughs> um, 1999, I don't know if that's plus post used for this one we have uh, sold this so many times oh, 20 yeah 23 pound 80. nice one 
not all the Lego. What's the theme? What, what's that sort of series called? Lego? Is it the game with the dice? Are they, oh, uh, they, they're like games. It's like yeah. shave a sheet, banana something. Um, yeah. They're not all worth picking up. Some can be pretty bad, but um, we see them a lot, <laughs> don't we? Yeah. A nice niche one. Uh, yeah. Monopoly Sheffield. Picked up from a lady that went to university in Sheffield. Yeah. So we've spent five pounds on it. Um, and I'd sort of, I was going to leave it behind, but it's not available used. So it's 23 new, not available used. So if we get sort of squeeze like 17 pounds out of it or something, then we're kind of. It's got such a good rank. Yeah. Isn't it? So hopefully it's complete. It's a bit. It was a bit high, like five pounds is a bit much, really. The re I wasn't going to pick it up, and um, but Simon from the same store really wanted Logo Billionaire, and I scanned that, and it was very similar um, use price on Amazon to uh, the Sheffield game. So I thought, well, if it's going to pay five pounds for that one, we'll pay five pounds for that one. So I was like, okay, just get them both. That was why. Yeah. Well, it's funny though because. Yeah, fifteen pounds twelve for that one. So Faye was like, "I'll get the other one." Had I known it was fifteen, I wouldn't have got it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, yeah, but you were adamant. I mean? It was really hard. We were the only people at the stall talking yeah, to them. Yeah, yeah, that's it's how it is, isn't it? When you're out in the field, you've got to make snap decisions sometimes. But the price could change tomorrow. They could like like couldn't it? The price could yeah. change tomorrow. They could sell out, or um, we might not get in for a while, and it. I mean, it's not that long to a quarter four. Thanks for messaging, Peter. That's interesting about the Star Wars Hoth oh, game, that Battle, of, Battle of the Hoth, because that one was, I'd say, 18 months ago plus, was super, super popular, and you'd sell it in an instant, and you could get sort of almost 55, 60 quid for it on Amazon and on eBay. And then we picked one up about, it's been a year ago, and we've probably only sold it in the last... Well, maybe just after Christmas or something like that. Um, it took ages to sell, and we were dropping it and dropping it. And I think we only, only got about thirty-five quid. So yeah, that one is was one that's really. It's not so much even that the price tanked, but on Amazon, the new price was like sixty, and the used price, or maybe more eighty, and the used price was forty. It just took so long to sell, even being the cheapest at sort of forty quid. Um, so it must have been, but still had a decent rank. So it must have just been p people picking it up new mm. and that people weren't buying it used, really. Um, so interesting. Oh, know. over a year at 40. Yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that. Yeah, it's a weird one. It was super, super popular like two years ago. So you'd pick it up, you'd be like, yeah, it was like, I don't know, it was a real bolo, wasn't it? But mm. um, yeah, we won't. We won't sort of be in a hurry to get it again. I mean, it's nice to sell it before we could. It's good money, isn't it? But it didn't sell yeah. quick. No. And they used to sell really quick. Ooh. I picked this up. This is old. Um, it says Yahtzee, uh, 1956, apparently. Now, I haven't looked in here. Um it does look old. So it's got the copyright 1956. Now, whether that means this was... I can't remember when, like... When was sort of plastic, like... Oof. I don't know. I'm going to make myself look like an idiot. I don't know what these counters are. But we've got five red dice and a white dice. So that's weird. And then we've got counters... I'll show them. I mean, this isn't like any Yahtzee I've played before. So we've got these, like, yellow counters. And a couple and, of hairs. Oh, yeah, some hairs. Always got hairs with things from 1956. And then... Oh, the counters are in on the picture. Look, they're playing. And they've got counters. Oh, yeah. It's American. I know that. We've got no rules. Is there rules on the inside? No. Oh, no, it says Leicester. Leicester and New York. So I've uh, got some completed score sheets. Uh, Suzanne and Richard. So yeah, it's five red dice. How many? Five, how many? Suzanne won. Oh, Suzanne. Ryan. Uh, so it's five red dice, a white dice, and like some six, seven counters. And I can't they're see They're different the... number of counters. Oh, here's the rules in my hand. I can't see the white dice in the picture, but no. there's five red. One dice cup. Set of Yahtzee dice, Yahtzee score pad, 
Yahtzee bonus chips and two pencils. So. Well, I'm intrigued by this pen. Look, what's that all about? Yeah. Universal. What is that? You like twiddle it, and there's. How did you twiddle it? I, I know it's a bit advanced oh, for you. Yeah, there's like numbers inside. Anyone, any idea what that's all about? Yeah, I picked <coughs> that up and paid 50p. I couldn't leave Yahtzee behind, even if it's a weirdo Yahtzee. Um, yeah. Obviously, I didn't know it was weird at the time. Uh, and with that, we also got the Scrabble. Uh, that one was also 50p. I think the price is dropping and dropping and dropping at this. One of the reasons is because is I keep sending it into Amazon. Um, so every time I send a new one in, I drop the price of the one that's already in there. So <laughs> it's your fault. Yeah. I'm single handedly tanking this. Uh, it's 13.95 uh, used now. 50p. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think we've sold ours now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, sold ours now. So it's fine. Uh, Good one. Yeah. What's this all about then? This one, Disney Color Brain. That, has it got a price on it? Three pounds. Pay three pounds for it then. It's got a load of hair stuck on the oh, tape. That makes that. it worth loads. Um, do you know anything about Is it just a game that you just scan? Um, I was just scanned it on the store, never heard of it. 1999 new. It's got a really good rank. It's all about, it's a game all about guessing the colour of things. You'd be rubbish at this game. No, I'm really good with colours. No, he's not. Oh my goodness me. That's... So, Mickey Mouse's robe as a sorcerer's apprentice. Brown? Red. Have you seen Fantasia? Most, no. Most of Thumper's... Oh, it sort of tells you if there's like more than one colour. Most of Thumper's fur. Grey? Yeah. The Monsters, Inc. factory logo. Green? Blue and white. Uh, Mr. Pricklepants' hat. Who's Mr. Pricklepants? I don't know. Two colours. Green and red. The Sorcerer's hat. Sorry, we won't, we won't keep these going for too long. What's Sorcerer? The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Oh, I don't know. Bl black. Blue and white. Look, there he oh, is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I knew that. Um, oh, so in, oh, so it says what it is. Inside out. Yeah. Joy's hair. Joy's hair, inside out, orange. Blue. Oh, one more. One um, more each. Okay. In Dumbo, Mrs. Jumbo's bonnet. Pink. Yes. Really? You've never seen Dumbo, no. have you? I was trying to pick one that I know you, that you've How seen. How have you not seen Dumbo? Wow, oh, of course I've seen it, but not since I was like in nappies. So how am I going to remember that? Okay, got a tough one for you. This is Beauty and the Beast. Mrs. Potts, the teapot. And it's five colours. White, pink, purple, yellow. Correct so far. One more. Blue? Yes. How the bloody hell did you know that? Because right. I had a little, I had a little one, little, little um, like ornament thing. Tidy these when up. When I was young. This is turning into one of those Sunday night quizzes, isn't it? <laughs> um, um, yeah. Which we used to love. Well, I, I particularly. Used to we watch do them. love a quiz. Uh, we used to go to quiz every Tuesday. Was it every Tuesday? Yeah. No, last Tuesday of the month. Oh yeah. It was once a month, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, last Tuesday of the month. Because I had to miss football. Uh, with my parents and haven't been since... The Troubles. The Troubles. Right, Stroud. I shouldn't call it that. <laughs> right. Okay, I picked this up from a lovely little old lady out of her garage. I paid £3. It's called... Try it. Try it. It's French. Bring it backwards. Triolet, if it's French, I guess. Triolet. Wow. So just scanned it on Amazon, um, and it's selling selling for. This isn't sold for. It's selling for forty four pounds and sixty two p. Used, no new available. So it's got lots of well, it's got enough reviews. Very. It's got. Um, sorry, I was whacked the camera. Um, 
not a great rank, but um, it's I think it's quite a unique. Yeah, I don't know. It sells. I don't think um, we've never seen this before. It's just like Scrabble. It is, but with numbers. So. So is it like a? It smells of salt and vinegar. Mm, put it back then. Quick, seal it back up. Put it back in the vault in the contamination area. It's very clean. Yeah. It is. So yeah, never seen that. So keep your eyes out for that. Forty quid. Forty. What did I say? Forty-four. Uh, oh, I'm gonna just do these. So this guy. By the way, if you've just joined or you're wondering what is going on, um, we're doing a. We went to a garage sale trail um, okay. on Sunday. We picked up a load of stuff. We're showing that as a whole video. We're doing it live because we didn't take any footage and I don't want to do any editing. So we're just doing it live and uploading. Doing it, doing it um, vinegar jar style, really. Yeah. Uh, no editing required. I'm hoping vinegar jar might want to buy something off us, like just to repay, like, because I bought something off him. Oh, yeah. So he should buy yeah. something off us. What would you like to buy? Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled, Peter. Yeah. So this guy had a, a like, tre trestle table. Nearly call it a trellis table, which is what I always call it. A trestle table um, full of Playmobil. And they all had different prices on. So this is the fire engine, obviously. He also had a pint of beer at five past ten. Yeah, it's brilliant. Got a little uh, clicky, little Pigger. loke, uh, fireman. fireman. And, and there's a stretcher or something in there. Yeah. Um, so he had all these vehicles and these these kids that I did start feeling a bit sorry for turned up and they were looking at it all and I'd already said to the bloke how much for it all and then we were just picking a few more figures he had a bucket of figures so we we're picking out all the emergency service ones um, and so these kids came along and it and I sort of had to say sorry it's, it's, mine. it's all gone uh, so we've got the mobile crane so it's all playing mobile as I said Got the little driver, needs a good um, so dusty. dust off. Oh, yeah. uh, so that one was four You're quid. You're listing these, right? Yeah, I'm gonna, well, not necessarily. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a few bundles out of this. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Police car, two pounds. I, I took one for the team when we had all those buildings and you couldn't build them, so I built them and took pictures. I think it's your turn now. I'm ignoring you. Ambulance, for three pounds. Uh, it says it on the top, little ambulance driver. It's like a Spanish ambulance. So we can do like ambulance, fire, police, for example, as one bundle. Police truck. An emergency services bundle. Emergency services bundle, and then like you cry. At, anyway, he was three fifty. A little person inside. Um, another police one, right van. I think we've pounds. sold that before. Cause they, that switches on too. Look. Yeah. Oh, I'm that one. Oh. Sound as well. Oh, what about these ones? That needs batteries. That needs batteries. That doesn't do it. It's a sticker. Pretty cool. Peter, see anything you like yet? Um, Sneaky must be asleep. He'll come in to, look, to play with these. Yeah, oh, that one's got a button as well. Another police van. Yeah, and they've all got drivers and stuff, which is cool. And then also, we got. The police, oh, that way. Sorry, police car that tows the boat. The police convertible. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if the top's in there or what. Um, oh, and then this was, that was the car. I'm sure I can't see how much that was. And then that was 40p. And I hadn't even noticed they had to point out there's something rather obvious go, that's wrong with it, which I hadn't even noticed. But at that point, I'd sort of already agreed to take everything. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's not going to fly anywhere, is it? Whatever. Yeah, it can be a water one. Oh. Um, and oh, there's the top of the convertible. Convertible. Nice one. And then no propeller in there. Then oh, what's that? Submarine? No, that was from. Uh, I saw that on something. It might have been in the boat. Yeah, it is a submarine. Look, or yeah, something. Yeah. Yes, I know. Well, the way you said it, I didn't know you did know. <laughs> he didn't sound very sure. Um, and then he put his face at the camera. No. <laughs> as the winch for the fire thing. 
a uh, little bike, motorbike. Do I normally pull faces at the camera? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's come off something, an emergency thing. Yeah. And then, oh, another motorbike person. That was a uh, just two for a pound on the motorbike. And then he was doing three for a pound on the people. So we just got a roof or a door or something. No, oh, it's a shield. shield. Um, so, yeah, like people to add to the bundles. You paid £24 for all of that. Yeah. I was pleased. I know you were. I was really pleased. There's some, like, dead mixed with hair there. Some DNA. Just stuck your finger on it. Oh, well. Oh, well. We're all human beings. Um, well, I'm just going to leave that. Sorry about all the noise. Are you really? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's just do this one. So be careful because it falls out. Yeah, I know. This was the oh. first pickup of the entire um, garden sale trail. <coughs> um, you paid £5, I think. Yeah, and I haven't even looked it up. And I didn't look it up at the time. Yeah. I just knew Kasparov, like computer chess. Is it German? Uh, uh, Russian? Russian. And I asked if, um, if it worked. I asked them if it worked. They were a really nice family. Um, and they said, yeah, test it out. It's... Um, I only used it once. He said, I can go and get some batteries. And I opened it and looked inside. It's absolutely pristine inside, all the manuals and everything. Um, so I haven't even looked it up, but I would imagine... It's from 1988. Um, yeah, I'd imagine 50 quid plus on this. We've sold little ones, haven't we, before? Not for a long time. No, really. but like the size of like Travel Scrabble, sort of this big mm. one, electronic chest. Yeah. And they go for half decent money. So that one... I think it will do really well for a fiver. Well That's not on Amazon. Cool. Um, found this. Uh, a lady was selling loads of stuff, and a lot of it was Disney. And I said, oh, um, you've fallen out of Disney or something. And she said, oh, I just love Disney, but I just need to clear some space. So this cross-stitch kit was £3. Cross-stitch kits can go for really good money, but some charity shops, like there's one near us, that doesn't sell them for less than £15. Um, cool. So this one was £3. Didn't look it up, just thought Disney. It's a bit sort of different. It's a cushion. It's an acquired taste, but uh, give it a go. And um, I was sort of chatting to her about Disney. I said, oh, you must have been to Disney then if you're this huge fan. And she'd never been. She must have been sort of late 40s, early 50s. And I said, oh, you best like use some of this money to put towards a trip because um three pound cross stitch well, kits she, is gonna you know what i mean like start a fund basically start a fund yeah because she was a fun. massive fan wasn't she yeah oh well, this was a good one yeah, we went we this particular garden sale trail we actually went to two years ago and we remembered this house out the, well well there weren't many we could remember but this one just yeah we remembered and we chatted to her about how we remember coming and she said she's got big plans for next year's yeah she, did, is she the one, did she actually say she thought she remembered us? Yeah. But she was just I, I think she was just being polite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she didn't buy anything last time, I don't think, from there. We just stuck her heads in. Possibly. They had, like, the, what do you call it's it? all motorcycle stuff, wasn't it? Yeah. Which now we would have probably bought, but we didn't. Yeah. We, we, we didn't then, because we weren't yeah. as confident buying stuff like that. No. So this is a... Um, Salomon. Salomon, like, shell jacket. Um, and it was a pound. You've already said that. I don't know. Had I? It was a pound. I'm not sure. Pretty Pristine cool, though. condition. Yeah. For a pound, you couldn't leave it behind. It was large. She's like, do you want to try it on? So I'm yeah. like, nah. I would look like... I don't even want to say what I'd look like. I'd look like a... Uh, I'm not even going to say it, but anyway, yeah, I wouldn't. It's, this would be a slightly too small for me. It's got a bit for so you can look at your watch <coughs> as well, so you don't have to pull your sleeve up to look at your watch unless, yeah, yeah. And when and you're buying stuff to resell, and, they, and people say things like, "Oh, um, you know, do you want to try it on?" And you're like, "No," and or they say, in this case, they said, um, "Oh, there's a, you can even like look at your watch." And they said to her, "Simon never remembers to put his watch on." So. <laughs> That'd be no good. <laughs> Keeping up with the uh, facade that we were buying it for ourselves and couldn't possibly yeah. be resellers. The watch that I got you is a wedding present, by the way. Yeah. Thanks for wearing it. I do wear it on special occasions. Wore it when we saw Kez. 
Oh. Special occasion. So these, we've got three pairs. They're Dickies work trousers, all brand new in the packaging. Um, they're all um, 40 inch waist. And um, they were five pound each. And I said, oh, we do me a deal if I buy all three, please. And they said, I could have all three for 12 pounds. Don't know how much I'm going to sell them for, but sort of workwear does well. Uh, so please with those. Mm. And that. No, got a big bag here. Oh yeah. Oh. Are I... there shoes in here? Oh, I don't know. Well, you, did you not empty this earlier and then put it all back? No. Okay, so there was a stall that we hot footed it to because we sensed that other people were also trying to hot foot it there. We wanted to get there first, didn't we? We I abandoned to the point where I sort of abandoned the car in the middle of the road and they told me off from my parking. And I was just like, look, we're not, we're not, I'm not parallel, I'm not going back and forth, back and forth, tight to the curb. Like, this is, this isn't what, what you do. Just jump out of the car, as long as other cars can get past. Yeah. We'll be back in a minute, it doesn't matter. So, uh, bought a load of clothes. This one needs a bit of a wash around the collar. Um, but it's mint velvet, size 14 jacket. Now, do you want to tell the story about this place, this stall? No, I, uh, I can't remember it. I asked her how much for the mint oh, velvet. Go yeah, on. I do want to tell this story actually because it really annoyed me. So Faye's looking at she's looking at the rail. It wasn't those, and there was all this all this mint. Well, so she started at the front of the rail. I was these, and this is the first thing she came across: mint velvet jeans. So she said to the lady, "How much for your mint velvet?" And she said. Two pounds. Mm. So Faye was like, cool, mint velvet for two pounds. And there was loads of it on the rail. So Faye kept thumbing for it. And then she said, right, I have all your mint velvet. And started taking it all off the off the rail. And there's all this. Um, and then she started changing the prices. She's like, oh, that's a dress. So that's four pounds. That's a jacket. So that's five pounds. And I was fuming. And I was saying to Faye, let's go. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I would have said, you know, because the moment you show interest, she, it was one of the last places we went to. So it was a good few hours in. Obviously, it's still all there on the rail. She said two pounds. Now, she might have meant two pounds for the jeans and everything else is more expensive, but she should have said that. And uh, I just felt it was so cheeky. And um, Brum Reseller had something similar on uh, with vinyl, where he, was, uh, he asked a guy at a car boot sale how much for his vinyl, and he said two quid. And then when Brum Reseller spent t for 10, 15 minutes going through it all, picked out all the stuff he wanted, and then all the prices started going up. It's really, really bad for him. I was so annoyed. I felt like kicking a clothing rail over as <laughs> you open it off. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not that sort of person, but yeah, it was annoying. So that's the story about it. Cool. So let me carry on showing you what I've got. These need a little bit of a debubble, but they are um, mint velvet trousers. They are size 14. They're like sort of almost like utility trousers. Um, these were the jeans that we were just talking about. These are size 12. Um, got some shorts. Never sold mint velvet shorts before. These are a size 14. Uh, another pair of mint velvet shorts, size 14. Might just bundle those together. Um, make listing easier. Uh, this is very similar pattern to a mint velvet jumper that I've got. This is a dress that's size 16. Oh, that's, that's five pounds because it's a dress, that one. <laughs> Um, he's still bitter about it, but I just said to shut up. I had completely forgotten about it actually until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Get I just over want to say it. a quick hi. I was going through my stuff. I know. <laughs> I want to say hello. Hello. I'm going to say hello to Vicky, the toy hoarder who has just found our channel and she's been binge watching our videos. Oh, wow, cool. Um, where, it'd be interesting to know where you found us. How did you come across us? Anyway, thanks for watching. And um, we're just doing a garden sale trial, although the banner along the bottom has kind of given that away, I guess. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we're near the end, so you can, if you haven't seen from the beginning, you can just go back. We will save it to the channel. Got this coat. 
the mint velvet size. Oh, coat. That's eight pounds for a coat. This is a size ten. So she's got 10s, 12s, 14s and 16s. So maybe she was just bitter that her weight fluctuates. Or bitter that she's tried to resell it and failed. Yeah, she could have bought it all. Um, um, another pair of jeans. These are a size 12. And then you come along, superstar <laughs> reseller, and just said, I want it all. Yeah. And she was like, oh, what did I do wrong? Uh, another dress or is it a top? Size 12. If it's a dress, it's four pounds. If it's a top, it's three. <laughs> <laughs> this was four pounds. Um, this is a dress, size 14. There we go. I think Leanne's gone, um, Vicky, but I think Peter is possibly lurking. And what's this one? This a top? Yeah, oh, it's like a sort of top waistcoaty jacket thing. This one is a size 10. Another one, it's the same as that, but gray. Size 12. And uh, size eight, so maybe she was a reseller. And this is a blouse. And then, in addition, before I'd noticed all the mint velvet, I also picked up from her these Birkenstocks. Got a couple of marks on the here and there, but on, they've hardly been worn. And I wear Birkenstocks a lot, and I know like what points wear quickly. Um, so yeah, all of those clothes and those shoes cost thirty-three pounds. So how many items are there? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Plus the shoes, or did you count the shoes? No, so thirteen items there. I so thirty three quid. Yeah. It's all right, isn't it? Would you if you're a clothing reseller, would you have picked up those mint velvet items? I mean I guess you're probably thinking that the the hardest cells are going to be the smaller sizes, mm. but, but you could bundle them up at the end, couldn't you? Yeah, I have even suggested um, there's a mint velvet page on Facebook where resellers are allowed to go because Laura Island set it up. She's a reseller and she's over on Instagram. And um, yeah, so I, I could just say bundle 13 items, mixed sizes, 100 quid or something, I don't know. Um, but I could definitely make my money back. Um, and, but, and some more. Yeah. But I think I'll do well on those bits. Um, Vicky, one of your videos came up on my recommends and was instantly hooked. Oh, oh. And how Thanks long would it much. take you to list all of those? Do you mean the clothes? Yeah. God, um, I really have to um, really sort of be strict with myself about listing clothes because I hate taking pictures of clothes. I can do the draft. I can do the measurements. And then I'll just have a pile of clothes because I just get so hot and bothered doing it or my back aches. I don't know why. Um, realistically, if I said, right, I'm going to list those, I could do it in a couple of hours, yeah. um, two hours maybe. Um, yeah. but, but they won't be listed by tomorrow. Um, I might do the shorts, um, get those done. But I just hate, we've got Monica the mannequin and sometimes she just, she's just annoying. She can be a bit cold. Yeah. She's not very accommodating sometimes. No, it doesn't, doesn't help. Yeah. So, so yeah, we... Um, the, the payment bill will take time and ages. <coughs> we we've... spent... Well, the thing is, I've got a big backlog of stuff for um, for eBay because I focus mainly, mostly on getting stuff into Amazon because yeah. there's a bit of a delay. You know, you box it up and send it off. And I had a pretty much a two-week gap. Um, I put a box together for Amazon and it was wanted to send it to a different... Uh, fulfillment center and the minute i saw it i knew it was going to be a delay so it's a bit annoying so i try and process the amazon stuff as quickly as i can and then what happens while i'm going through everything that's sort of ultimately destined for amazon i'm putting stuff aside for ebay as well that would be more suitable for that plus then picking this sort of stuff up that faded on a list um so yeah this lot of, yeah it won't be if i'm like maybe get done this month maybe <laughs> got busy sort of 
week yeah. coming up that sort of non-work related stuff like Simon's family he hasn't seen for over a year are coming so we're going to spend time with them aren't we so the stuff will get a bit delayed but but also like the the whole thing with the jigsaws getting other people to count getting our neighbors to count our jigsaws for us has um taken a bit, bit of my time so I kind of almost lost like three or four working days really just organizing that but it'd be worth it because we've given us space but oh, also space. we're just making up bundles to sell at auction um so we've delisted a lot of stuff it was like 175 things on ebay um, plus some of the other puzzles that i'm not that interested in there's not really the money to pay someone else to count um yeah. you know so sort of cutting our losses on some of those like i know they're old weird and wonderful ones so but the thing is with those puzzles we haven't bought those and then regretted no. it they've been in like job lots of puzzles that we've bought from the auction yeah. like the corner piece ones they're from the works and then you can buy them new from the works for like six or seven quid so you buy like a job lot of puzzles from the auction and say three of them will be sealed and there might be like a sealed ravensburger a wentworth and like a couple of other sealed ones they're the ones you want and then you've got the fodder left over so the fodder i'd been stacking up um just in, like burying my head in the sand with it really a little bit um but now we've dealt with the good stuff the rest is going back into auction yeah hopefully we're going to drop off some stuff at auction next week um it's, it's a good way to get rid of things don't obviously get rid of rubbish um but um my sister and her husband who are a to z resellers they're on um instagram they had to have a bit of a clear out of some of their stock because they've got they're doing some home improvements. They needed some space to store materials, and um, oh, <laughs> someone's coming back with some jigsaws yeah. about to come up the path. Well, we we need to. Um, so yeah, really quickly, and um, they've just put a load of stuff in the auction this weekend, so it'll be good to see how they get on. Yeah. But we're going to have to go because someone's coming to the door with some counted puzzles. So thanks very much for watching. Like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. And um, we'll see you again soon. Yeah, bye for now. Take care. See you soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a like. See you soon. Bye.